Hi everyone and welcome to Belinda's DIYs. This is going to be a long video so let's go ahead and just get right to it. For the first DIY I'll be using these adorable ceramic homes. Now let me tell you I found these at Dollar Tree and I could not believe that Dollar Tree had these. These look like the Target dollar spot and from these Dollar Tree wooden hearts I'll be using two of them and some acrylic paint in the color pink blush. This is going to be a very easy DIY. What I did is just paint the roof with the pink paint and I only painted two of the little houses. The one in the middle I left the roof as is. Next I started to paint the little wooden hearts with the same color. The next thing that I did is position the hearts where I was going to hot glue them. And that was it for this project. For the next DIY, I'll be using three of these Dollar Tree Love Signs. Some spray paint in the color metallic gold, candy pink, and some white. I'll be taking these outside and I'm going to paint the top one in pink gold and white and this is how they turned out and now that the paint is dry what I'm gonna do is hot glue them together what I'm gonna do is offset them now you can hot glue them straight up all stacked up together but I wanted them to look a little different and that's why I'm gonna offset them but these will look really nice to hang on the wall to reinforce these, what I did is add some more hot glue where I had joined them and I'm also going to add some pieces of duct tape. And this is how now the love, love, love wall decor looks. For the next DIY, I'll be using three of these Dollar Tree candles, a gold paint marker, one wooden heart from Dollar Tree, some twine, and some of these wood beads from Dollar Tree, and also this plastic tray also from Dollar Tree, and these spray paints, the gold, the pink, and also some white. Okay, so I'm going to start by spray painting two of these candles and I'm going to paint two of them in the pink color and then the center one I'm going to paint it in the gold spray paint. And then for the tray, I'm also going to paint this in the pink color. I'm also going to spray paint the heart with the white spray paint. The Dollar Tree wood beads are different sizes and I grabbed the biggest ones. I'm actually going to be using six of them and I'm going to paint two of them gold, two in pink, and two in white. Okay, so now that the paint is dry on my candles, I'm going to write XOXO on both of the pink candles. I was being very careful because the gold paint would run if I would press it too hard, so I had to take my time doing this. And this is how both candles turned out. And here are my painted beads and also the white heart. Next, I'm going to strand my beads through the twine. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue at the end and then place my heart there. Next, I'm going to tie a knot at the end and then cut it off. And now I'm going to wrap the beads around the gold candle. And then I'm going to wrap some twine around all three candles. And then I'll be placing all three of them in the pink tray.
For this next DIY, I'm going to be using this love vase that I created last year. I'll go ahead and link that video down below, but I am going to be repurposing this vase. I'll also be using a piece of burlap and three of these onion grass from Dollar Tree, some floral moss, and one glass vase. What I'm going to do is hot glue some moss on the O letter in the word love and I'll be doing that to each one of them. I'm going to start by adding a generous amount of hot glue and I'll be doing this in sections and then I'll be adding the moss. And as I am adding the moss, I'll be pressing down to make sure that the moss adheres well to the hot glue. This is how it looks now with all the O's covered in moss. And I know it looks really messy, but I'm gonna start to clean it up. I'm gonna start by taking off all the excess moss first. And then with my scissors, I'll be trimming off all the excess moss and just cleaning it up. And now as you can see, the O is really taking shape. Now I'll continue to do that to the rest of the O's until I'm done. And this is how my repurposed vase turned out. And now when I stand up my vase, no matter what angle you see it, all the O's have moss on them. Next, I'm gonna wrap the glass vase with some burlap. And then I'm going to drop it into the love vase and then I'm going to fan out the burlap over the vase. And then for the onion grass, what I'm going to do is just fan them out just so they can spread out and just look fuller. And then lastly, I'll drop in the onion grass into the vase. For the next DIY, I'll be using two of these clay pots from Dollar Tree and also some of these DIY stickers and their wooden hearts also from Dollar Tree. Some moss, some heart shaped doilies, some black acrylic paint, and I'll be using two of these hearts from these Valentine wall decor from Dollar Tree. Some heart shaped foam stickers. And I'll be using the stick from this cat teaser wand and some floral foam. Okay, I'm gonna start by removing two of the hearts and then I'm gonna start painting the back side of each heart. And I'll only be giving them one coat of paint. The next thing that I'm gonna do is cut the wand in half and then I'm gonna trim it down to shorten them just a little bit more. The next thing that I'm going to do is place the painted heart over the doily this way and I'll be hot gluing it together. Next, I'll be adding one of these wooden hearts to the center of the black heart. I kind of wanted to use the pink side of the heart, but then at the end I just decided to go with the neutral color. Next, I added one of those foam hearts and I put it in the center. Next, I'm going to turn it around to the back side and then I'm going to hot glue the wand to it. Next, I added a piece of the floral foam into the pot. Then I added some hot glue to the wand and then I stuck it in the foam. Next, I filled the pot with some moss. I was going to leave the pot like that as is, but then at the end I decided to add these little white flowers from Dollar Tree. I'll be repeating the same steps to the second pot.
For the next DIY, I'll be using this double hearted wall decor from Dollar Tree. Some jute twine and also this thicker cord twine and this one is from Walmart. Dollar Tree also carries the thicker cord twine but I had this one on hand. Some fabric lace doilies. Dollar Tree carries the white and cream colored ones. I'll be using the cream colored. Some pink roses and white roses. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is remove that center heart and then I'm gonna remove all the tinsel from both of the hearts. Okay, so now that I've removed all the tinsel off the heart, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the cord twine all around the heart. Now this is gonna take a while. I'll be doing sections at a time. I'll put a little bit of hot glue and then I'll wrap the cord and then I'll just continue repeating those steps until I'm completely done. Okay, so this is how the heart looks now with the cord wrapped all around. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do now is lay the lace on top of the heart and then I'm going to hot glue in the areas where the lace goes over the rim of the heart. Because the lace is not a solid material, I do have to use the back side of the scissors just to hold down the lace until it adheres. Since I like to use all Dollar Tree items when I can, that's why I'm using these material doilies. Um, this is the only size that they have. I wish they would have had bigger, but this is all that they have. So I did have to purchase two of them, but they do come in a pack of two. And this is how it looks with this one doily. Now I am going to have to add some pieces just to cover up the corners. Using the other doily, I'm just going to place it over on the side corner and then I'm just going to cut where I need to in order to cover that section that is lacking some lace. And here's the piece that I just cut and I'm going to repeat the same steps. I'm going to hot glue it onto the heart and I'll do the same thing to the opposite side. I did have to add just a little dot of hot glue where the lace laid on top of the other just to make sure that they would cling together. Next, I'm going to cut off all the excess lace that hangs over the heart. The bottom tip of the heart is lacking a little piece of lace, so I'm going to cut a little piece and then just hot glue it. And this is how my lace heart turned out. This is the back and then this is the front side. Next, what I'm going to do is reinforce the lace. And what I'm going to do is just hot glue a piece of that jute cord all around. And this is the back side of the heart that I'll be adding the cord. And now I'm just going to dress up the edging of the heart. I'll be adding some more of that cord all the way around the heart, but this time it's going to be only on the sides. Okay, for now I'm done with this big heart. Now I'm going to put it away because I'm going to start working on the small heart. Okay, for the small heart I'm going to do the same thing as I did to the large heart. I'm going to wrap the cord all the way around the wire till I completely cover it. And this is how the small heart looks. And now for this small heart, I'm gonna use a thin twine. And what I'm gonna do is basically just form a web. I don't have a particular pattern. I'm just gonna be wrapping the twine in different directions. And I'll also be adding some hot glue along the way just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. And this is how the small heart turned out. Next, I'm going to hot glue it to the side of the big heart. And this is how the big heart looks with the small heart. Okay, now I'm going to start adding the roses there on the top corner. I'll be cutting off the plastic stem that the roses have on the back side. That way the rose can lay better when I hot glue them. Thank you. 
And this is how the heart looks now with the roses. And now lastly, I'm just going to add a piece of cord on the back side so that I can have something to hang it with. For this next DIY, I'll be using this same double heart from Dollar Tree. Some coffee filters, a wire basket, a white ornament marker, some LED wire lights, also known as fairy lights. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is remove that center heart. Next, I'm going to start cutting the rim off the basket and I'll be doing that to the top and also the bottom. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've done this several times in different DIYs. Next, I'm going to cut the basket in half. Just by using some regular heavy duty scissors will do the job. It's very easy to cut this wire. Once I've cut the basket in half, now I'm just going to kind of press it down just so that it can flatten some. If you love chicken wire crafts, and then this is a great alternative. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just lay the wire over the heart. And what I'm going to do is just trace out the heart. I'm not going to remove the tinsel around the heart because it'll serve as a covering for the wire. And I also think that the red tinsel looks really pretty because the floral that I'm going to put in the center is white. So I think it goes well with this project. Once I place the wire where I need it to be, I'm going to go ahead and take my white ornament marker and then I'm just going to trace around it. The metal frame underneath the tinsel will be my guide. And as you can see, there is the marking. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut around it. And this is what it looks like and I'm just kind of bending it just a little bit so that it can flatten out. And now once again, I'm going to lay the heart down and I'm going to place my wire over it and I'm going to start to hot glue it. I will be doing sections at a time and then I'll also use the backing of my scissors just to keep the wire down because it tends to still want to come up. Just in case you decide to do this project, I just want to warn you that the hot glue will seep out through the wire so you need to be really careful. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is remove the tinsel off the smaller heart because this is going to serve as the pattern that I'm going to draw in the center of the bigger heart. Okay, so now I'm ready to place it right in the center and I'm going to be using my white marker to trace the pattern out. And this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to start creating the floral heart and in order to do that, I had to place it over a basket. And you'll see why in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my coffee filter and I'm going to fold it in half and then I'll repeat it twice. Then I'll be adding some hot glue around the stem and then putting it into the wire until I completely fill the center pattern. You can also create this same heart in a flat surface. You would just have to bend the ends and glue them down. But because I wanted to pass it through the wire, I had to use this technique. Okay, here I'm just showing you how the heart is taking shape. And this is how it turned out. To me, they look like roses. And this is what the back side looks like. Next, I'm going to start stringing the lights to the back side. And so all I did was just string the wire around the stems. 
By adding the lights on the back side, I feel that the light filters through the paper and it gives it that illuminating effect. Once I was done stringing the lights, I did add just some regular tape just to make sure that the wire would stay put. And I also wanted to tape down the battery pack. And this is how the back side looks with the tape. And now I'm just going to add some twine to the top of the heart. And this is how my illuminating heart turned out. For this next DIY, I'll be using three of these glittered foam hearts some assorted rose floral bouquets, a round floral foam, some red glitter, and I purchased this at Walmart and it was 89 cents. And also some iridescent glitter and this was also purchased at Walmart. Some craft sticks, some Mod Podge, but you can also use some regular glue. Some assorted decorative ribbon. I ended up using the two bottom ones. A pipe cleaner. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing all the tags off the hearts, including also the lace hanger that it came with. And here I'm just pointing out to you how there is some glitter that's rubbed off. I couldn't really find any perfect ones at Dollar Tree. Most of them had the glitter rubbed off. So what I'm going to do is add some glitter and just to cover that up. I'm going to start by adding some Mod Podge in just the front side of the heart and anywhere that I see that there is glitter missing. Then after that I apply the Mod Podge, I'll be adding the red glitter and then after that I'll be adding a little bit of that iridescent glitter as well. And I'll be repeating the same steps to the other two hearts. And this is how the three hearts turned out and now I'm going to let the glitter dry and then I'm going to work on the floral. Okay, so I'm going to start by making a bow and I'm going to make this bow about 10 inches wide and I'm going to fold my ribbon about six times. Next, I'm going to gather it in the center and then I'm going to wrap it with a small piece of pipe cleaner. Then I'll just fluff out my bow. And this is how my bow turned out. Okay, for this ribbon, I'm going to follow the same exact steps, except this one is only going to be 8 inches wide. Next, I tie down the black and white bow on top of the red one. Next, I'm going to remove one heart from that heart bouquet and I'm going to hot glue it onto the center of the bow. Next, I'm going to create some tails for my bow and I'm going to extend it about 10 inches and then I'm going to fold it once and then I'll go ahead and cut that end. Next, I'm going to be creating a V-shape to the end of the ribbon and I'll be doing that by cutting the ribbon sideways as I'm doing right there. Next, I'll be twisting the center of the ribbon where both front side of the ribbon are facing forward. Next, I'll be hot gluing that ribbon right in the center of the foam. And then following with the bow on top. Next, I'll be hot gluing some of those white roses. And then for the red roses, I will be leaving a little bit of the stem and then I will be inserting it into the foam. I also did the same thing with some white roses and also the red hearts.
and this is how the arrangement turned out. In the end, I decided to add some of these heart picks from Dollar Tree and I just placed them here and there around the arrangement. Okay, so next I'm going to add that arrangement to the top corner of the heart. So I'm going to flip both items at the same time, just like this. And then I'm going to join both items together by adding some hot glue on top of the heart there in the corner. And then for extra reinforcement, I am going to hot glue the craft sticks. Next, I'm going to cut two pieces of this black and white ribbon and they are about 8 inches long. And now I'm going to be adding the ribbons and I've turned over the parts with the front side facing down as you can see right there and now I'm going to place the ribbon also the front side facing down. Next I'll hot glue one end of the ribbon to one heart and then the other end I will hot glue it to the other heart. And as you can see the top of one heart is going one way and the other one is going on the opposite direction. And I repeated the same steps with the third heart. For this next DIYs, I'm going to be creating three Dollar Tree Valentine's Day centerpieces. I'll be using one round mirror, three wine glasses. If you see them side by side, you can see that one wine glass is bigger than the other. I'm going to use one of the smaller and two of the bigger ones. Some heart shaped table scatters some votive candles, some chargers, a white one, a red one, and this one right here that I spray painted with some chalk paint. And I'll also be using this mirror base that I created a while back. If you take a look at the upper left hand corner, that is the video when I created this. I'll go ahead and link that video down below so that you can see how I created this mirror base. I'll also be using a bouquet of velvet roses and there is three to a bouquet. And this is the chalk spray paint that I use to paint one of the chargers. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the mirror off its frame. Next, I'm going to remove the roses off their stem. And then I'm going to cut the plastic base that they have down at the bottom. I'll be doing that to all three of them. Okay, I've set the roses aside. Now what I'm doing here is placing my wine glasses on top of the mirror. And what I'm doing here is positioning them where I want them to be. Next, I'm going to take my white ornament marker and I'm going to place a dot on top of the mirror, almost centered to where the wine glass will sit. And I'll do that to all three of the wine glasses. I will not be doing any measuring, I'm just going to eyeball this. And here I'm just showing you the three dots that I made on the mirror. Next, I'm going to hot glue the roses onto the markings that I made onto the mirror. I did use hot glue only because I don't want my roses to be on the mirror permanently. If you decide to do this project and you want them to have a permanent hold, you can use E6000 or super glue so they can have a permanent hold. And here I'm just showing you how the roses look on the mirror. I think they look so pretty just like that. And now I'm going to take my wine glasses and gently slip them on top over the roses. And 
And this is how the center base looks now with the wine glasses and the roses. Okay, so now I'm going to take that center base and place it in the center of the mirror base that I had pre-assembled a while back. I also use this red ribbon to tie a bow around the stem of the wine glasses. Next, I added the candles and the base of the wine glasses served as candle holders. And now the final step, I just added the red jewels and I just scattered them around the base of the mirror. And this is how the first centerpiece turned out. Okay, so now for the second centerpiece, I'm going to take this white charger and I'm going to place the center base with the red roses that I had just previously made and slip back on the wine glasses and the candles. And then lastly, I'll be adding the heart-shaped scatters around the rim of the charger. And this is how the second centerpiece turned out. I placed it over the mirror base, but you don't have to. I just thought that it looked prettier this way, but you can just place the charger directly on top of the table and it'll still look very pretty. Okay, for the third centerpiece, what I did is I spray painted one charger with that chalk paint. And I was going to use chalk to write I love you all around the rim of the charger, but instead I decided to use the white ornament marker. That way it would stay permanent. And it also looks cleaner and nicer. I thought the I love you wording would look really pretty, but you can really put any wording on here or any design and you could just personalize it as you would like. Next, I'm going to take the mirror candle holder and I'm going to place a single red rose in the center. With this mirror, I'm going to follow the same steps as I did with the first mirror base, but with this one, I'm just going to add one small dot in the center of the mirror. Next, I'll be hot gluing the rose onto the mirror. You do have to hold the rose for about a minute or so, just until the hot glue hardens up. Next, I'm ready to place the mirror base in the center of the charger. And then I'll slip the wine glass over it with the candle on top. And then lastly, I'm going to be scattering the red heart shape scatters around the center base of the charger. And this is how the third centerpiece turned out. For this last DIY, I'll be using this candle holder and also this glass vase. These are already glued together because I had used them in a previous DIY. I'm going to start by filling, first of all, this vase with a candle. And then I'm going to add these gel heart stickers onto the glass vase. This is such a simple DIY, but what a transformation that you can make to just a simple glass vase. And this is how it looks with the candle on. I think it looks so pretty with the candle light shining through the gel heart. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. I hope that you really enjoyed all these Valentine ideas that I had for you. You have yourself a blessed day. And until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.